fishy friends, welcome on another fishy Friday and welcome to my home. Reason why I'm cooking right here is because we are moving our studio kitchen. Today we're going to make a special edition of marinated salmon. We're going to marinate this beautiful piece of fresh salmon, gin and tonic style. So this is around 400 grams of salmon, fresh salmon fillet. And make sure if you buy salmon, it's from a sustainable source. Okay, so four tablespoons of cane sugar, same amount of salt. So now I'm going to crush with a pestle and mortar um, some fennel seeds, some coriander seeds to give a nice aroma, a nice extra flavor to the marinade. Okay, I add these to the salt and the sugar. And then, which goes really delicious um, with this marinade, with the gin and tonic. I have like four juniper berries and maybe like five, a bit more, seven uh, black peppercorns. Crush them too. The zest of a lemon. Now we're going to add the liquid. We're going to add some delicious gin. And I'll add like two, maybe one and a half tablespoon. And a similar amount of tonic. Okay, beautiful piece of salmon. I've got it with the skin on. But what I'll do, I score the fish. And, and with this, I allow the liquid to disappear from both sides out of the fish, which will concentrate, will make the flavor more intense. I've got some cling film underneath. Then I've got the salmon fillet on top of it. And then I have the marinade. So I spread the marinade on top of the fish. So I close the fish with the, with the cling film. Cover the fish with an extra layer, with an extra uh, tray. And I make sure I have some heavy stuff, in this case, some tins of tuna on top of it. So now I will have the fish marinate for 24 hours, maybe a bit less, in the fridge. And of course, I made one earlier, um, which is coming out right now. There was one tin of tuna. Let's check, guys. Look at this. Beautiful. Remove the fish from the tray. What I'll do right now, I take off the marinade. Okay, what you see actually, the flesh of the meat has changed. It's a bit more red, it's, it's, it's like a bit cooked, it's cured. So I now shortly rinse it under cold running water. So now I dry the fish with a piece of paper. And now I've got, well, the skin is here, but I'm going to remove the skin to serve the salmon properly. So I hold the skin with one hand, almost horizontally. I move the knife to the other side. Take off this end part. I cover the fish with a bit of extra lemon zest. A bit of black pepper. So now it's time to cut and plate up the salmon and I'm using my sashimi knife I bought at the Tokyo Fish Market. It's a left-handed knife. Um, well, this is actually what the Japanese people always do when they cut like a piece of fish. It's in one movement. Therefore, this is quite long. Okay, here we go. And I cut it in slices of maybe half a centimeter. So this is 400 grams. This might uh, serve like four or five people as a starter. I'm going to plate it up and I'm going to serve it with a nice cucumber salad. So time to plate up. Spring onion, a bit of dill tops, a bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon, and some drops acidity, white wine vinegar, a bit of Morgan sea salt, and black pepper. Give it a mix, plate it up. Look at this, beautiful colors. You could serve it like with a lemon creme fraiche or lemon cream or a horseradish sauce, but I like it this way, the pure way. Okay, I'll have a taste. Great mouth feeling. Um, 
The deep flavor of the gin is there, but just in balance, and a bit bitterness of the tonic. You have the freshness of the lemon zest. You taste the coriander, you taste the fennel seeds. It's a great dish. It's in balance, it's in harmony. It's so easy and quick to make. Just have it some hours in the fridge and you have a great starter. Lunch or snack. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them down in the box below. And hope to see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>